People, 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 people. Thank y'all for tuning in. This is another, another, another great episode of What the B is. And yes, we're going to dive right into it. Why? Because this is the shocking news. You saw the title. Shocking news about your favorite cartoons, movie, show. Really dealing with movies. And yep, I'm diving in with another, another one. I had to take a deep breath because it's going to be a very crazy one, y'all. Y'all are going to be very, 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 very freaking shocked about this one. As I'm tuning everything in, I mean, it's nuts. Um, I'm going to dive into it. Uh, your favorite shows. And by Just the Nobodies. I'm going, I'm diving in with another one about Just the Nobodies. I mean, I really love the channel, man, uh, on TikTok. It's crazy right now. But, uh, yeah, let's just dive into it. I have not seen these. I have not seen them. I'm watching them for the first time, just like you. I ain't changing the game. This is all for the first time. You dig. Mm-hmm. Theory. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, it's kind of dark, but remember at the beginning of the movie, Lilo gets in a huge fight with her hula. Have you heard of the Incredibles theory? Which one? What if I told you Mr. and Mrs. Incredible have more powers than you think, and they don't even know it? What do you mean? So we all know how the Incredibles is like a family full of superheroes, but don't you think their kids' names are kind of strange? Yeah, they're kind of weird. So this is where the theory comes in. There's a theory that Mr. and Mrs. Incredible can see the future. What? How? You know how most parents name their kids before they're born, or like right after they're born? Yeah. How did Mr. and Mrs. Incredible know to name their kid Dash if one, they didn't know he was going to have powers? If they did, how did they know he was going to have super speed? They literally named him Dash, and he ends up having super speed. Wait. And how do they know to name the daughter Violet when they didn't know her powers either. And it turns out whenever Violet uses her superpower, she creates this violet colored force field around her. Wait, yeah, I didn't even think of that. And then they named their kid Jack Jack because there's a saying called Jack of all trades, which means like someone that's really good at a bunch of different things. And it turns out that Jack wow. Jack has a bunch of different powers in one. Wait, what the heck? That makes so much sense. Yeah, so the th Wow. Theory is that Mr. and Mrs. Incredible have this power called precognition where they can see the future, but they don't know they're seeing the future. They just think it's like a thought in their head. Man, this is one crazy family, man. There's one incredible family. Have you heard of the incredible? Wow. Okay, so I heard there's a new Loki theory. What is it? So in the most recent episode, right, there's a lot that happens. We see Loki and Sylvie start to somewhat work together, but we see Loki seems a lot more powerful than we've ever right, seen in right. any Marvel movie. Yeah, right. it's kind of weird how exactly. overpowered he is all of a sudden. Right towards the end of I the know, episode. I noticed that too. I'm like, this dude's like, like really powerful in the, the new episodes. I mean, I don't know if you guys checked it out. It's on Disney+. Plus. I'm not promoting for it, but I'm just saying, if you ever want to go check it out, it's on Disney+. Plus. Anyway, it's really crazy. Episode, we see Loki stop an entire building from falling, right? Right when it's about to hit him and Sylvie, he pushes it back up as if he reversed time. Yeah, that was really weird, right? So the theory is that Loki has the time stone. You think he took it from the TVA? Yeah, so remember in the first episode, uh... right? The drawer of Infinity Stones? We see him pick up the time stone, but we can't confirm he put it back in there. Yeah, for once in his life, all the Infinity Stones are right in front of him. So I don't know what's stopping him from just putting one in his pocket. Exactly, and at the end of the last episode, right? We think all hope is lost. The rocket ship's broken, the 10 pad's right. broken. There's no way off of this apocalypse but what if loki's gonna use the time stone repair the tempad repair the ship charge the tempad and get them off of the apocalypse i guess if he uses the time stone everything could be fixed exactly okay, okay so i heard there's a new loki theory okay i get it i mean that would make sense that's pretty huge but that would make sense so have you of heard of the pretty woman oh. effect no what is that have you ever okay do you know how this fast is you're... about cartoons not about pretty women and not about mcdonald's have you heard of the big hero 6 theory no so you know how tadashi died in big hero 6 yeah what if i told you he's not really dead what so remember in avengers age of ultron when tony's designing vision yeah he's like going through his ai chips and there's one that says tadashi on it that's the same chip that tadashi hamada made for baymax right so this is where the theory comes in what if tadashi gave the chip to tony stark and bruce banner just in case something ever happened to him because he knew they were the wow. only ones capable of being able to save him wait what do you mean so we all know that wow. tadashi's goal is always to protect his little brother hero right and he knew if something ever happened to him that tony stark and bruce banner were the only ones with the knowledge to be able to put tadashi's ai form into like a robot or a new body like they did for vision oh that makes a lot of sense and it's rumored that robert danny jr is going to come back as a tony stark in his ai form in the new iron heart series on disney plus and guess who else is rumored to be in the show who the big hero six character wait what so what if tadashi comes back in his
AI form in the Iron Heart series. Wait, that would be crazy. but it makes a lot of sense right because there's a reason why they put the tadashi chip in avengers age of ultron exactly have you heard of the wow. big did you know disneyland actually brainwashes you every time you visit <laughs> what so everyone loves disneyland right it's i know that i know that i mean just beautiful and it costs a lot of freaking money <sighs> wish my kids would take me on now i lost man three days at disneyland again Until y'all start sending me some cash app, I'll be able to spend a whole three days at Disneyland. Until then, uh, we're going to keep doing these videos and performing on these tours. <laughs> it's the happiest place on earth, but have you ever walked by a building with a bunch of speakers on it, but no sound is coming out? Yeah, what is that? So that's what Disneyland calls smellitizers, and what they do is they shoot out a certain smell 20 feet, and it helps make you feel a certain way. What? Right, so in Disneyland, if you walk down Main Street, there's no a candy way. shop that shoots out the smell of peppermint to help remind you of candy, and there's an ice cream shop that shoots out the smell of vanilla and waffle cones. I love the smell wow. of their waffle cone. Right? And if you walk by the popcorn stands, they shoot out the smell of popcorn to make you hungry and want to buy it. And that's wow. how they get me to spend all my money. Exactly, and Disneyland wow. also uses smellitizers in their rides. So if you go on Pirates of the Caribbean, they shoot out the smell of salt water to help the ride feel more realistic. So that's how they do that. They even do this in the Pixar Pier Hotel. So they actually shoot out the smell of sunscreen to remind everybody to wear sunscreen so they don't get sunburned and what? ruin the memory of their visit. Gosh, no Disney thinks way. of everything, right? Did you know Disneyland... Have you heard of the Tangled Theory? No. What if I told you there's a theory that would totally change the whole movie? Wait, what? So you know how the evil mom stole Rapunzel from the castle because she wants her hair because it keeps her young? Yeah. So but... this is where the theory comes in. If the evil mom never told Rapunzel when her birthday is, Rapunzel would have never ran away from her. Wait, why? So you know every year on her birthday how her dad will send those lamps into the sky, hoping that one day Rapunzel will come back? Yeah, I remember that. And every year on Rapunzel's birthday, she's like looking at the lamps. It's like, oh my gosh, those are meant for me because it's my birthday. Yeah. But if the evil mom would have just told her her birthday was a different day, she would have never thought those lamps were for her and she would have never went out to go try to see if those were for her wait what the heck all the evil mom had to do was never tell her her birthday and she would still be with the evil mom and the evil mom would still be stealing her hair oh my wow. gosh that makes a lot of sense these disney villains are pretty dumb huh they need some help man have you heard of the t damn it do you know that the original Cinderella story wasn't made for kids at all? Wait, what? So we know that Cinderella had two evil stepsisters, right? That were so desperate to fit in the glass slipper to marry the prince, right? Right. But in the original story written in eight... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go. Have you heard of the Tangled Theory? Do you know that the original... I just gotta say something. The Cinderella story is some real drama. That's some, like, real adult drama right there. I don't even know... Anyway, I don't know why they even made that for a kid, but I get it. You know, the little girl believed, oh, Cinderella story, oh my god, took him, took him in the plane like her, in the plane like her. Anyway, all I'm saying, what was that Snow White? I said, oh, shit. The original Cinderella story wasn't made for kids at all. Wait, what? So we know that Cinderella had two evil stepsisters, right? That were so desperate to fit in the glass slipper to marry the prince, right? Right. But in the original story written in 1812, the evil stepmom was even more desperate for their daughters to marry the prince. So you know what she did? What'd she do? She willingly cut off the toes and the heels of her daughters so they could fit in the slipper. What? Ryan, she literally cut off their toes, cut off their heels so they no would fit way. in a shoe. <laughs> Talk about tough love, huh? Right, but thank goodness the prince didn't buy it. Gee, I wonder what gave it away. Maybe when there was no toes on their feet? Right, so you know how <laughs> Disney Cinderella, she always has magical birds that <laughs> sing and like help her. Yeah. Well, in the original story, those birds were so mad at the evil stepsisters that at Cinderella's wedding, they went to them, pecked out their eyes, and ate them. This whole time, I thought Cinderella had it bad. Right? Karma really got the stepsisters. Well, you know one thing is that wow. they don't have eyes and they don't have toes. Do you know that the original Cinderella story wasn't... Wow. I'm gonna end it right there, people. Wow. Just unpacking a bunch of stuff. Y'all go check them out. Just the nobodies on TikTok and all over their social media on Instagram. That was pretty amazing. I wow, wow. I'm glad that there's people out here to do the work for us, so we can be amazed. Like I said, I'm watching these videos for the first time with you, and crazy. I would love for you guys to keep tuning in, like this video, share it, comment. What's your thoughts? What did you think of this? Share with other people. Let me know what their thoughts was. Let's build this community. Uh, what the biz is going on here? You did. And we are out. Ciao.